Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Dell Technologies World 2019. Brought to you by Dell Technologies and its ecosystem partners. Welcome back everyone to theCUBE's live coverage of Dell Technologies World 2019 here in Las Vegas at the Sands Expo. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, along with my co-host, Stu Miniman. We are joined by Steve Nolan. He is the lead product manager, private cloud at CenturyLink. Yes. Thank you so much for coming in direct from St. Louis, Missouri. Thank you, thanks for having me today. So let's start by having you tell our viewers a little bit about CenturyLink. Okay, well, CenturyLink is um, uh, a very large carrier, uh, international. Um, uh, with our re uh, recent acquisition of Level 3, we have a little over uh, 500,000 fiber optic miles belong to us. We're wired into over 100,000 buildings uh, globally across approximately 60 countries, um, um, uh, connected into over 300 data centers. Uh, so that's a, kind of our uh, a telecom network story. Um, I actually work within a division of uh, CenturyLink that uh, handles managed hosting products. Um, it was through an acquisition they did a number of years ago called a company uh, called Savas, uh, where um, we now have about 20 years, a little over 20 years in managed hosting um, uh, services uh, to uh, customers in the business. And there's been a lot of news this week at, at Dell Technologies World, and you, your CenturyLink had a big announcement just this morning. Uh, yes, we just uh, released a press release on, um, it's a product um, um, uh, option we've been working on for about six months now. Um, it's for a private cloud product that I manage, uh, that I released actually a year and a half ago. We just added it now, uh, Dell, uh, options uh, for that product uh, based on the uh, Dell PowerEdge 6, R640 server. Um, and that, uh, of course, we did that to be able to expand options and choices for our customers to um, uh, open up the opportunities um, uh, to um, uh, those situations where we weren't able to get into before. So we're very excited about it. It's, uh, it's, it's new, it's, it's exciting, it's, it's of course a great, great platform, very, um, uh, very uh, amazing technology. Yeah, so, so Steve, the, the, the term private cloud, you know, is, is almost about 15 years old now. Um, sure. But there were many years that we didn't all agree as to what private cloud should be. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I wrote an article recently about hybrid cloud, and mm -hmm. you know, even hybrid cloud was basically like, oh, I had private cloud and public cloud and a bunch of pieces, and I put them together. And like, well, the hybrid multi-cloud stories we're hearing this mm -hmm. week mm -hmm. and many other shows, very different. We're trying to get our sure. arms around this. So, you know, I'm familiar with Savas. You know, I, I've seen CenturyLink many times at VMworld. Mm -hmm. So bring us inside that private cloud. Tell us sure. a little bit about, you know, what you've been seeing in the environment, some of those key use cases to what customers Certainly. are doing, and, and how this is different than, you know, the virtualized environments of the past. Certainly. So, um, so what we've been seeing happen in the industry, and, and it's, um, and you go back a number of years, a few years relative to cloud, and you ask six people, what does cloud mean? You get six definitions, right? Uh, but what we've seen is that there's this huge move towards public cloud over the last Last number of years, the hyper clouds and all the activity, we've seen plenty of it. And there's been challenges associated that you, you don't find out day one, you find out over time. Certain things that were challenged to work with in, in, a, in a public cloud type of scenario. Um, customers that say, you know what, I still want to hold on to some infrastructure. And what we're seeing now relative to what private cloud is, it is a, a, an infrastructure that's 100% dedicated to one client, end of story. All of that infrastructure belongs to one, one, uh, one company, one entity. It is not shared, nothing is shared. That is true private cloud. And so that's what, um, uh, what I manage for, for our company is um, um, uh, our private cloud products, where, and we've, we um, uh, have one that's um, uh, been with us now for about 15 years. Uh, it's on uh, uh, VMware, we're a large VMware shop, we're 100% VMware uh, today. We've been working with VMware for, I think, a total of 15 years, a little over 15 years, and uh, various types of uh, products and solutions and platforms. We work with them for a year and a half to be able to create our new private cloud product uh, that is a hyper-conversion infrastructure for software-defined networking based on uh, VMware's uh, VMware Cloud Foundation software suite, right? So that's where the movements are, um, and, and what's happening with this, now if we want to go into kind of what's happening in the industry and the world, is um, the way that you build infrastructure historically, right, is you build your compute, your network, your storage, and your security. Those are the four minimum uh, columns of uh, which technology you need for a solution. And then you connect it all together. It's done by four different groups, four different um, subject matter expert groups, and, um, and it can be very time consuming to piece all that together. Now we roll into this uh, hyper-converged world uh, and you just give me a stack of servers that have some CPU, some RAM, some disks, and I layer on some very well uh, designed and architected software, the likes of VMware Cloud Foundation, and I define everything from one interface through software. 
It makes uh, the, uh, the ability for um, uh, enterprise customers to be able to move uh, much faster on making change to the environment. I can spin up a firewall in minutes, a serverless balancer, a router, uh, that's very powerful compared to how it was done in the past. Yeah, so Steve, one of the areas of expertise I know CenturyLink has is on the networking side of oh, things. Certainly. It's something we've heard Dell talking about, the networking and how that's expanding the HCI market today, mm -hmm. as well as if you talk about that hybrid or multi-cloud environment, networking's a critical component, things like mm -hmm. SD-WAN put mm -hmm. into it. So can you help, you know, if, if, where does that those, those pieces fit into your environment from a well, networking? Well, where we, where we see that, that going, and this is a, these are, it's a common theme and, um, that we've been talking through a little over a year now, and this, uh, this uh, topic of milliseconds matter is uh, the edge. And so that's where it's really evolving to, um, and, and that's what we're working towards as well. So, so one of the things we're doing with our products is moving it out, our products out to um, um, uh, the data centers, many more data centers than what we've done in the past, and then taking that a step further when we go to edge computing, because of our telecom expertise and experience, and our thousands of points of presence, we can put those systems into a pop, if you would. We can put those systems, of course, on customer prem, getting uh, the response times uh, down to um, just a few milliseconds, which is critical to um, uh, businesses' response times, um, uh, delivery companies, or various companies where that, that's important to the, millis the emphasis of milliseconds matters because it, it saves them money because they're very, uh, able to be more responsive to their customers. Well, that's exactly what I want to drill into a little bit. You say milliseconds matter, which is, which is absolutely true, and, and you're talking about how customers feel this need to move so much faster, mm -hmm. uh, and, and we know about the uh, breakneck speed of, of technological change. Can you give us a real business impact? I mean, as, as you said, this, this, this really is game changing for so many companies. Can you just give us an example of a customer you're working with and how this really, the, the, the ROI on this stuff? Yeah, I, 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 um, I you can't don't have to name, name names. Yeah, I can't, <laughs> so um, um, uh, we're working with um, some shipping companies who of course they've got the little responders when they deliver the package. Um, they have uh, hundreds, maybe as many as a few thousand locations, they want to be able to put that data right next in those locations so that the response on that package gets that information faster. They, they get closure on that, they're able to bill faster, they're able to um, um, uh, move on to the next item faster, provide the information to their customers faster. Those are the real live examples that we're seeing uh, with uh, the middle seconds matter type of scenario. We actually did a demo of this at VMworld last year. We just give an example where, and we did um, a test of uh, going across the internet and then going across a, um, a dedicated circuit. And we painted us one page, one screen, and it took a second going across the internet. And it took a half a second to go across a dedicated circuit. And so it's like, well you take that one page, and it's the thousands of pages that one of your employees goes through in a day, and then multiply it by your thousands of employees, that's now where we're adding up to cost savings, more efficiencies of your employees when they can get that information faster. So All right. So one of the important areas here is the, is the management piece. Uh, so you know, I understand you're partnering deeply with VMware. Mm. Is it primarily the vRealize suite uh, for, for management tooling? Uh, anything, what, what, what's, what's special about the CenturyLink offering? So, so, so relative to um, uh, my product offering is uh, in the private cloud, um, um, we actually have, um, because here's the situation, customers don't just have one cloud. We all know the true story is it's it's not about public or private. It's about both. It's not about one cloud or one other cloud. It's about many. And so we actually uh, through an acquisition we um, had done, uh, we created a product we called Cloud Application Manager. It's a multi-cloud management product that is designed uh, today to support from one interface. I can have AWS, Azure, Google, my private cloud product we call the uh, Centrally Private Cloud on VMware Cloud Foundation, uh, our public cloud product, all from one interface. I can manage my workloads. I can monitor the OSs. Uh, we will manage and monitor those OS's and applications for the customer. Uh, later on, we'll be called our um, uh, managed services anywhere a methodology uh, to, for customers that want that management to provide that for them. Right? So it's, it's really about being able to take all those different environments and that hybrid IT solution, the vast majority of enterprise folks either have, want, or are stuck with, right? and be able to trim it down to singular interfaces to be able to um, support them. How closely are you working with customers on the actual implementation onboarding of these new technologies and making sure that so, employees are also really on board with these things? Yeah. So, uh, well first of all, when we work through solutions with um, our customers, we don't just say here, pick this from a menu and, and so we sit down and design for them. So, so we're very specific in um, how we've designed our products to where we actually allow over a thousand configuration options. So we want to, you have to right size the infrastructure. That's what you 
start. That's the foundation. You right-size that infrastructure for your work environment, for what it is that you're trying to accomplish, and you allow flexibility to be able to grow it. And so we allow flexibility to be able to add RAM or storage um, to those systems or add more systems, give the flexibility to grow as you need to grow. Whatever button it is you want to push, it's growing on you. Right, and so, so that's where we start with this and that design aspect of this and that's how we solution all of our managed hosting uh, products, okay? Great. Right. Well, Steve, you started this conversation a Cube Ricky, you're ending a Cube alum. So, <laughs> <laughs> thanks good. so much for coming on the show. Well, thank you for having us, having me, all right? Appreciate it. I'm Rebecca Knight for Stu Miniman. We will have much more of the Cube's live coverage of Dell Technologies World coming up in just a little bit. <laughs>